Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and I'm back with another $2 a day Family Thrift Center outlet haul and I have so many goodies to show y'all. I found someone's vintage romper dress closet clean out. Maybe it was their aunts, maybe it was their grandmas, maybe it was their moms, I don't know, but I scored some serious gems. I also found so many pairs of cowboy boots and of course some brands to be on the lookout for. So stay tuned. To start the haul, let's go into the cowboy boots because finding four pair of cowboy boots is just ridiculous and unheard of and I am so here for it. So the first pair is these Jean Pierre Clemente cowboy boots. These are women's size seven and a half and they're really awesome. They've got a square uh, pull on here, a little bit of embroidery, really in like new condition. They don't look like anybody wore them. They are a size seven and a half and there's one really, really small flaw that I think just happened probably from them being on the thrift store shelf. There's almost wear and tear from that in itself and it's a little scratch right here, but I think that that could likely be rubbed out or something like that, but really cool boots. Really excited for these. The next pair is definitely a bolo. I think if you're in Texas, you've heard of it. It's Tony Llama and these boots are amazing. They are, ah, they are so cool. They've got stitching here. They've got stitching on the toe. They're in really good condition. Whoever had these boots knew how to take care of their cowboy boots. They definitely oiled the leather and there is no like significant scratching or flaws on them. Um, they do look like they were worn. I mean, if you're gonna own cowboy boots, you gotta wear them. But these I'm hoping to get like close to $200 for vintage Tony Llamas like these we're looking like they go for around that, sometimes more, sometimes less. So with my brief comps, I'm just really stoked for these. I do need to look more into the boot itself to actually find the size, but just from the style markers and the like style of, of the boot with quick comp searches, it's looking like these are vintage and just in really great conditions. So I'm so stoked about them. The next pair of cowboy boots that I found is really interesting. These are Justin's brand um, and they are lizard cowboy boots. So that's cool. Um, and these are also apparently vintage. I did search the style number and the listings that were available were saying that they were vintage. I again need to do a little bit more research, but these are definitely lizard just by looking at the way that the leather is on these. It's not your standard cow leather. It's like bumpy and interesting. So that's cool. And they've got really nice stitching on the side and just a really cool shoe. They are also in really good condition. The other one is buried in clothes somewhere, but really cool shoe these are a size seven and a half too so maybe somebody just donated their whole cowboy collection that's what i'm thinking with these vintage dresses and stuff that i found and we'll get into last pair of cowboy boots is these these actually have no identifying factors on them i don't know the size i don't know the brand the only thing is it says soltec on the bottom which i don't even think relates to the cowboy boot itself i think that it's literally just the type of rubber that they used but these are really interesting i really liked the contrast between the dark and the light um and the stitching here is really nice it looks like they're some kind of leather that also is not cowhide um because it's kind of bumpy it almost looks like it could be crocodile not sure i'm not super in tune with cowboy boots so if you know please obviously leave me a comment these have stitching here whoever had these definitely did not take their care of their leather as good as the tony llama owners these people oiled their bad boys these people did not they have a little bit of cracking but overall really good condition don't know the size on them or anything but will be updating as i find out more about these really excited just to found four pairs. I mean, I've just been hitting the cowboy boot jackpot and I really hope this trend continues because it's a great one. So this is a Bolo brand. I think a lot of resellers have already learned about it and that's Dansko. 
these clogs are popping. I think that, you know, they're popping off because they're worn by a lot of healthcare workers, um, dental assistants, anyone who's in healthcare or just the medical field. They love these babies. And these ones are like new. They're just this typical black. They are a size 37 and I'm hoping to get 40 to $50 for them. They retail at 130. These ones are like new. So I'm thinking I could ask easily $50 and see where that goes. But really great shoe, excited about that. Some of the cooler, like trendier styles that are more of like a red suede with studs and like a wooden sole, those babies can go for a whole lot more. So just keep your eye peeled for Dan's goes because they're fine. The last pair of shoes that I found, well, I didn't really find. I saw somebody I knew in the store and they saw me in checkout and were like, hey, do you want some Birkenstocks? And I was like, hell yeah. Um, so I got some Birkenstocks. These are worn um, quite a bit. They've got the toe prints, but on the bottom, they honestly don't look that worn. I just feel like Birkenstocks get the toe prints in like one second. The Tula Birkenstock brand does not go for as much as your regular classic Birkenstock. So I'm thinking I might just keep these bad boys. Luckily, they are my size and I don't have a pair of Birkenstocks and I'm too granola to not. So I think I'm just going to literally have to keep these. So now time for the clothing of today's haul because one that I find a lot, but two, I found so much vintage and I am so excited to show y'all all of it. The first piece of the haul is this absolutely funky linen embroidered flamingo dress. I mean, how could I say no to flamingos and linen and just all in a dress? It's a size 10 and it's just so fun. I, I couldn't resist. If you can resist picking up flamingos, you have a lot more self-control than me. <laughs> That's it. This is um, one of two vintage slips that I picked up. This one is so cute. This is a size 1820 vintage Gloria Vanderbilt floral slip dress. It's really pretty green with some pink flowers really like the detailing on it. It's got nice stitching throughout and a cute little bow. This one is a bolo brand. This is a snack silkware slip dress and it's 100% silk as the silkware name suggests and these babies can go for a lot online. Um, I know sometimes when you're looking at vintage comps they can be a little skewed especially towards the high end but these were consistently looking at over $100. And I can see why, because it's so cute. Uh, it's got paisleys and it's just this beautiful green. And I'm telling you, when you feel it, you just know it's quality too. So that was fine. I just could tell by the feel. I didn't actually look up the comps until I got home. This is a slip-esque dress, definitely more of a dress that's made to wear out because it's lined but it's a really cute skimpy 90s dress i love the print on this and it's got really cool uh, little slits at the thighs there's no size on it and it's honestly no particular brand the brand is especially yours i won't even bother to show the tag because i couldn't even find it online um so i don't think that the comps are ridiculous for it um and there's no size i would size it at about like a small extra small really cute feels really quality too i just love this it looks like such a staple piece this is not vintage but really fun really vintage vibes and this is just divided h&m i don't advise picking up h&m please don't take this as your sign to pick up h&m unless it has sunflowers on it then i'll give you the pass to pick up h&m this is super cute this has sunflowers all over it it's a little baby doll dress it's a size medium and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i had to pick it up i saw the print from across the store and i like just like went to it because i knew it was something cute and it is this is also not vintage this is a loft jumpsuit 
really pretty print it totally caught my eye sometimes i kind of like look in the dress section like solely for jumpsuits because as we all know i am a jumpsuit freak this is a size extra small really cute v-neck front and back ruffle sleeves belted waist also pockets my ladies that's a score this is just the loft no crazy brand not necessarily a bolo but if it's cute pick it up because it's worth it this is one of a couple vintage rompers these were such a fun find i thought that they were just really cute vintage dresses and then i started looking at them harder and i realized that they were rompers so these are i'm holding the legs this is like one of three it's got buttons down the front the funkiest legs these are the buttons that's a corset tie back waist oh my gosh it has pockets this is amazing this truly made my day but this print is something else i love this print it feels so quality it's got shoulder pads ah oh, this is such a perfect piece it's a size small and it's so fabulous like i'm sitting here just like falling in love with it i don't know ladies i may have to keep that we'll see but these vintage funky rompers definitely are a style to be on the lookout for they don't necessarily have tags that are like oh like this is a bolo i feel like it's more of a style vibe um but these definitely go on etsy for 40 to 50 dollars sometimes more sometimes less it just depends but vintage pieces are definitely more of an etsy thing and with the amount of vintage i have today i may have to do an etsy uh, but this is another one of those funky rompers this one is from express and it's the funkiest legs like these are so fun this is 100 percent cotton it's that really sweet like baby floral print um and it's a size small too it's 100 percent cotton and it's ribbed and super stretchy really sweet I'm obsessed with these. This is actually not one of those rompers. This is a true dress and it really reminds me of the vintage dress that I wore in one of my past videos. I think it was the style video and I had so many comments asking, what is that dress? Like, I love it. Like, are you selling it? Um, and I wasn't selling that dress, but I will be selling this one and it's a similar size. It's a size six petite. It's Norton McNaughton petite this beautiful blue periwinkle and stunning floral print completely button front little tie back waist it does have shoulder pads but it's got such a complimenting shape to it it's got like a little spit of like curved in at the waist and then it flares out and just oh it's perfect i'm talking about all these pieces and i'm just literally falling in love with them and i want to keep them all so you better hop on them but this is a size six petite if i didn't say that already really stunning piece i love the feel of this one and honestly all of them this is a another vintage beauty this is another dress this is 100 percent rayon and absolutely beautiful print this is a size large it's uh a, like a more of a midi dress um than a maxi i believe but it's definitely not a mini it's got pockets i did note that there is a one small flaw that i'm seeing right now a small seam split but really 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 minor um a little collared neck and yeah it's completely button front and it's such a cutie i'm obsessed with this style i've sold it a couple times in the past and i'm really excited to have found one that's got a print to it that's super fun i found so many fun prints and this one is no exception this is actually a kid size, but hear me out, it can totally fit women. It's sized a 13, 14 years, and it's just this funky brand, Yellow. I feel like with vintage brands, the brand doesn't really necessarily matter. It's just like all about the style and the era, and this is such a fun piece. Definitely looks like a medium large. Uh, I mean, it's got a lot of stretch and just doesn't look like it's only made for a child i mean it was in the women's section so somebody else thought that it was women's too and like this print caught my eye so hard and it's got fun little buttons on the front i love this stitching it's so fun i am just super unique quirky 
all about that. These are a find. I am obviously obsessed with overalls and jumpsuits, but vintage overalls, full length, amazing condition. Oh my gosh. These are vintage revolt overalls. They've got the side stitch, really awesome condition. I mean, they look like they're like new. Okay, they're hard to show off because they're full length. They are a size large, really great. The brand is Revolt. You can typically tell 90s or vintage overalls by this look. I found vintage overalls like this before and I think they were like key brand. I don't know, they were green. But they looked very similar to this, and I thought that I'd found another pair of those, but these are Revolt, and they have really similar pricing to $40 to $50, um, but really cool, really funky piece. I'm obsessed with them. So excited for these to go to a fun home. <laughs> Super fun. I did find another pair of overalls. These ones are not vintage, but just another classic piece. These are also a size large, I believe. These are Forever 21, and honestly, knowing Forever 21, these are probably made from more of a smaller large medium. They are high rise though, and that's definitely why I got them. Um, we all love a good high rise. Nobody wants slow rise. I mean, I guess some people do. I know that it's a fashion trend, but high rise is still more comfortable and fabulous. And these are super cool and just classic overalls. I had to get them. That was also the deciding factor was that they were high rise and light wash, super cool. This is definitely a Bolo brand and that's Vintage Wrangler. The Wrangler tag looks like this. I'm gonna definitely have to do, oh wait, oh my God, it's look, you guys can see it. It's Silver Lake Wrangler. So this is really cool. I literally saw the sleeve and that's why I picked it up. Do you see that? It's so cool. It's got this funky Western trim. So cool, it's on both sides. The buttons are silver and fun. I don't know if you guys are seeing them. And it's a size large. It's 100% cotton, really cool piece. I love Wrangler and vintage and Western. I mean, obviously I pick up cowboy boots, but this one was such a cool piece. And vintage Wrangler has sold successfully for me a lot of times in the past, both on my Instagram and on my Poshmark and I can typically get around $30 to $35 for it, and that's really not even asking ridiculous prices. Um, vintage Western wear goes for a lot. I've seen it go for a lot more in consignment stores, a lot more on Etsy and Poshmark and other platforms. So definitely just keep your eyes peeled for Western and cowboy and all that jazz because people love the embellishment especially, and vintage Western is always a kick. So guys, we have one more of those vintage rompers. This one is so grandma-y. It is this cute floral print and the funkiest legs like all the rest. It's got little pearl buttons down the front. The size on this one is a size three, but I'd size it up more like an extra small. Super cute. I love just the muted floral and that grandma vibe is super in and always really sweet and delicate. This one is a little bit more loud and bold, but it's also vintage. I do believe this one is 90s. This is the brand Dressing Cleo. It's got the funkiest buttons down the front. One's pink, one's yellow, one's purple, and it's got these little front pockets and a little tie back at the waist. It's a size small if I didn't mention it, but I really love how bright and fun this color and dress is this is a funky pickup but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for and just a style that's really in um, and does really well consistently on Poshmark and other platforms the brand is KPC it's a size large in this case and it's these hippie boho cardigans they have other um, styles too this one's the long one and it's got these funky prints and textures and it's just a really fun funky piece super granola and super quirky definitely looks like something you'd see at a farmer's market i'm here for it 
This is a style-based pickup. It does have vintage vibes, but I do not believe that it is vintage and there's no tag, so I can't confirm. But it's just gingham, baby doll, midi dress, super cute, long sleeve, probably more of a fall seller, but really pretty and cute. I don't know, I just picture like a teacher or somebody going to a pumpkin patch or some kind of fall activity with it on and I just had to get it. I really like that baby doll style and I'm really into gingham. I picked up another gingham piece. I don't know, maybe I've been watching too much Great British Baking Show, who knows. Anyway, it's getting to me subliminally. There's this dress. It's another midi, almost maxi dress. There's no size on it. I would size it a, like a large, extra large. I really liked the neckline on it. It's got a little cinching here and a fox wrap front that can unbutton and then ruffle sleeves and just a really sweet print i really like it um and it definitely could have a belt too if you want it the last piece in the haul was solely a style based pickup it's this cute little puff sleeve ruched mini dress it says it's a large but i do believe that that is a lie it looks more like a medium to my eyes um but it's a cutie nonetheless it's definitely not a bolo brand it's literally wild fable which is from target but this print caught my eye and I had to get it. That's a wrap for the haul today. I mean, I found some serious gems. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you saw anything that you want to snag, reach out to me on Instagram at Curated by Natalie and you can snag it before I post it at a bit of a discount. I'll try to keep you all updated in the comments with what's sold and what's still available. Um, and yeah, let me know what your favorite find was too, if you had one. I'm still kind of struggling to figure out which one was the best, but I'm kind of leaning towards the Tony Llama boots or maybe the funky vintage rompers. So thanks again for tuning in. Bye!